Are you running out of space in your 30 million block world? Well, then I got the houses just for you. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you three houses I created using 1.13 mechanics that allow them to be super minuscule. So the main attraction today is this 2x2x2 two by two by two minuscule house. This is literally the smallest house that you can build in Minecraft for the most part. I mean, I guess it's just a collection of items. But anyway, yeah. So here are the resources. Yeah, this is all you need. <laughs> I don't really need to show you guys how to build this because it's quite literally 2x2x2. Two by two by two. There's really simple blocks. But anyways, what it is is a bed. Then uh, on top of it, we have an anvil with... An ender chest that is waterlogged, so there's water right next to it. Then there's a chest right here, waterlogged, that is on top of a furnace next to a crafting table. Now you might be wondering why we have this little area here, but this is an infinite water source. So basically the water in the chest and this ender chest flows together and makes an infinite water source. So that's pretty amazing. We also have an anvil and we can sleep, so if we quickly set it to night. And you can just hop into bed, so we kind of have to maneuver our way over here. We can hop into bed when we can actually sleep, and survival this doesn't actually damage you. So you can sleep perfectly fine, wake up in the morning, just float out for the water. And good morning, and yeah, okay, well, there's not birds in the sky or anything, but yeah, that is all you need to build this house. Now, I also created another house, which is a little bit bigger, it's a nice expansion off of that design over there. It's a 3 by 3 by 2 house this time. Now, technically, it could be counted as 3 by 3 by 3 if you count these blocks, but they're technically not included in this, it's just the farmland. But yeah, um, this has the same base design here, so this is a little design. I obviously don't need to show you how to build that. But then I also have uh, one wasted block, I know. Actually, what's under here? I added a dropper. Okay, I thought I wasted that block, but yeah, there's a dropper over here. So that was actually not included in the resource list. Let me quickly add that onto there. Oops. <laughs> Improvisation at its finest. But yeah, these are all the resources you need. Very simple. Three chests. So yeah, there's three whole chests of storage space, plus a dropper. Now, the reason that dropper is here is because you can actually throw items inside the dropper and it doesn't require to have a block on top of it. So you can quite literally throw something in here and it's like a block that stores stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's very unique. Works in that way. Then right next to it, I have a sleep timer. So we have uh, an, uh, daylight sensor, right? That's what it's called. <laughs> uh, set to night mode on top of a redstone lamp. So it triggers when it's night. So it's like a sleep timer and also just a light to, you know, keep moms away and stuff. Then we have farmland right next to this. So in this uh, version, you can actually grow um, food. So we have two blocks of farmland. So you can have a little bit of a small farm. Maybe to get yourself some bread or carrots or, you know, baked potatoes or something. Under there we have a chest because chests can actually open under farmland. So I thought, you know, why not do that? And this is actually a large chest. So it's a, you know, extended one. So now we have the third uh, storage block plus the dropper un under here. Uh, by the way, with this enchantment table, you can only get level 7. But, yeah, whatever. It works. <laughs> and then an armor stand to get all your armor. So you can, well, grab your chest plate. Right, for some reason, there we go. Yeah, you can grab a chest plate. Do the stuff that you normally do. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. So that's about it for the house. I mean, it's fairly simple. Again, you can sleep in it. I don't think I need to demonstrate that. Now, the next house is pretty a dramatic difference. Now, this house was designed around having um, an almost, asterisk, almost full, uh, in full 30 level enchantment table. So as you can see, some enchantment particles. But before I do that, let me quickly show you what it looks like. It's kind of what it looks like. Let me quickly go into here. And these are all the resources. So as you can see, it's basically... The 2x2x2 two by two by two house, but just a bit of resources added on top of it. So it's just an expansion um, with a lot more bookshelves. So yeah, you're going to require 12 bookshelves for this design. This should get you level 28 in the enchantment table. So obviously, the heart and soul of this, the center of it, is the enchantment table. All of the particles are going to it. It's very good. Now, you might be wondering um, how this is special. Now, this has a lot more blocks. So let's start with the enchantment table. You can get a level 20 enchantment here. It's almost 30. If you add some more bookshelves right here, you can get level 30. Uh, but I didn't want to go over the limit, so I just kind of, you know, kind of eliminate that. <laughs> and then we also have the same amount of farmland. So it's kind of disappointing that I couldn't get more in here, but I needed the blocks to not be higher than the, uh, the enchantment table. So yeah, I didn't want anything blocking there. Uh, and then we had the same little water source here that we had in the previous two designs, then a furnace. Then we have a, an anvil on, under this bookshelf, and then also a brewing stand. That's kind of new. We can access it from here. There we go, brewing stand. So you can brew up your potions. Um, and I also, I was, you know, going to be like, okay, so how can we make this look impressive? So I added a beacon. There's a full beacon in this house. So the beacon is just, 
um, to show you how much you can fit in. It's not really required, but yeah, you can live without that. And maybe add like some other blocks here um, or more farmland if you wanted to. But yeah, then over here we have a jukebox so you can listen to your nice beats. You know, chirp is pretty nice. And then another bed, a dropper, another one for storage. Um, and then under there, there's a redstone lamp. So since this is a transparent block for glass, you technically don't even need the redstone lamp unless you want a sleep timer. But yeah, the beacon emits light already. So yeah, redstone lamp, you can see it through there once it's, you know, time to sleep. And there's a ladder to crawl back out once you've woken up. And over here under this trap door, there's the daylight sensor. So that's about it for these houses. I mean, oh geez, I'm getting stuttering. 1.13, I'm in snapshot or pre-release one. So yeah, it's a bit laggy stone, but yeah. This is kind of what the houses look like, so I hope you guys enjoyed these designs and, uh, you know, you can make some use of them because, you know, obviously we're all running out of space in our 30 million block worlds. Uh, but anyways, guys, <laughs> I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.